Today I will show you how to create something like this. As you can see, the tree is something with blue. Now when we move it, it turns to green, turns to pink, and so on. So it, so the color changes with the word position. You can use it for example in forest to get more color variation in it. And now I'll show you how to do it. First of all, you have to create in Photoshop something with a gradient tool. Up here, this tool here. So right click onto it and choose the gradient tool. Then go into the options and create such a color curve. So dark green to bright green. And then just paint it on into a new layer. And that's it. Now just save it. Of course, file, save as, desktop, let's say, blum, and PNG. And save. And OK to all. And that's it. Now go into UDK and import it. Right click, import, desktop. And here it is. Here it is. And OK to all. OK, now we'll show you how to create the material. So first of all, go into the material of the tree. So I will go into... Where is it? This here. OK, I've already made this. I will delete this now. And OK. Now just add the texture sample of your normal tree texture. So this here. This is the opacity channel, the normal map, and the diffuse. Now add a multiply. So just press M and click the left mouse button. Connect it with diffuse. And the texture sample with B. And at A, you have to add your texture. So the green, so the bright green to the dark green texture. This here. Just add it there. And connect it with A of the multiply. Now we have to add a mask. So mask. Then we will choose the component mask. Add this, and in the properties you have to disable the R channel. And connect it with the UV from the texture sample above. Now we have to add a divide, so div, divide, connect it with the mask. Now type in OBG, and then you can see object world position. Now add this, and connect it with A. And down here we have to add a constant, so con, and constant. And that's it. Now we just have to type in a value at the constant, so like, let's say 200, because this value zooms in the texture. You can't see it now, but for example 200 zooms in like, like to just see this screen here. When you put in like 20, then you will see such a bow screen, so it will zoom in and out with the, this value here. So just adjust this as you like, but I will stay at 200. Okay, and that's it. Now save. Okay, let's start out. Now here's a bright green. Let's move. Then it turns to darker green, bright, and so on. So now it, as you can see, it changes the color as we like. Now with that, you can create very, very, very cool forests. So just play around with these settings, make a better, a better, better color curve, and just adjust it a little bit. This is just the basics how to do it. So thank you for watching and until next time.